Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we are going to learn about logistic regression. So we have already come uh, covered our topic about regression. What exactly is regression? We talked about regression analysis. What are cost function? Uh, how does gradient descent work? Everything about regression. And we actually uh, applied out linear regression and some of the other algorithms like polynomial regression. So today we are going to start with our first ever classification algorithm that is logistic regression. So as I have already told you before itself that some regression algorithms can be used for classification. So we are going to start out with uh, our logistic regression first. Basically what we uh, have in logistic regression is we commonly used to estimate the probability that an instance belongs to a particular class example uh, what is the probability of this email is spam before just going much inside into logistic regression how it works let's look into what's the need of it so here is a simple uh, problem where we have the problem statement that we have a bunch of emails. Some of them are uh, spam and some of them are okay. Okay, so we have spam emails and okay. Okay, just the fine emails one. So y equals to one stands for the okay emails and our spam email stands for y equals to zero. That is y is our positive class and y equals to 1 is our positive class and y equals to 0 is our negative class. Okay, so if we build a linear regression model, again, linear regression model gives us continuous values. Okay, whatever values we are getting out of it, all of those will be in continuous format. So when we build on this data set where we have the final uh, answers, that is the target variables as y is equal to 0, and one okay if we fit a linear regression model over here we will get a straight line which will be fitting something like this okay and we will be getting continuous values now uh, we might get for some values we might get uh, 0 0.6 0 0.8 and we know for a fact that uh, we cannot have a, a value target value as 0 0.6 or 0 0.8 so in these kind of scenario, what can we have is rather than having a straight line, what we will be having is something which is of S shape. Okay, so we can have something of S shape line and which will actually help out. We can have a threshold point. So we can have a threshold point over here that is exactly at 0 0.5. Okay. We can have a threshold point at 0 0.5 and any value which is above this 0 0.5. So we might have a value at 0 0.7. What a logistic regression model will count it as is as a uh, okay email. Okay, okay and spam. Anything above 0 0.5 will be counted as uh, okay email and anything uh, less than 0 0.5 threshold will, will be counted as a spam email. So if what exactly is happening over here, so what is 0 0.5? 0 0.5 is the probability factor. Okay, so if the estimated probability is greater than 50%, then, then the model predicts that the instance belong to the uh, positive class. Okay, otherwise it predicts that it does not belongs uh, to the class. That is, uh, it will belong to the negative class. This is essentially what we know as binary classifier. We have two classes, okay, 0 and 1. 0 is for spam emails and 1 is for just for the OK emails. So that's the basic scenario about how the logistic regression work. Eventually what we do is everything is quite the same thing uh, what we had in linear regression. Only the thing is we pass the complete data to a sigmoid function, okay, which we also uh, uh, denote as, as logistic. So we are going to talk more about it uh, in our next video. But before that, what uh, our logistic regression is used for is logistic regression predicts the output of categorical 
dependent variable. As I've told you, we have positive class, we have negative class. Logistic regression is almost similar to linear regression, except that how they are used. Linear regression is used for solving regression problems. We where we were having continuous values. Okay. And logistic regression, on the other hand, is used for solving the classification problems. We have where, where we have different classes. In logistic regression, instead of fitting a regression straight line, which we looked up, instead of fitting this straight line, we fit a S save logistic function. Okay. So we have something like this. Okay, and we have this threshold value. Anything above the threshold value, okay, it will be counted as a positive class, and anything below the threshold value, it will be counted as the negative class. Uh, so that's exactly how it works. So basically, what this uh, threshold function does is it predicts two maximum values, zeros or one. The curve from the logistic function it indicates the likelihood of something such as whether the cells are cancerous or not, whether this email is spam or not spam. Okay, so that's about a brief uh, description about how logistic regression works. Now, let's jump into the next video where we will actually see into pen and paper how the logistic regression is working in the backend.